Yeah, what up y'all and welcome back to another one like I promised uh, We're taking the old Sherp out to the duck lease and we're gonna do some management out there We got to get rid of some old weeds. But look who we brought along today. Old Frederick. Hi, buddy. Sit Sit good. It's my good boy He says dad sit sit. He says dad. I'm ready to try out some dove. I think we're gonna try out a dove hunt. Now I know dove, uh, the feathers like to get stuck inside of dog's mouth real bad. I'm kind of afraid of that, but we do have another big pigeon hunt coming up. So be sticking around for that. So I gotta put the kennel in the old dive bomb rig. It's like I said, we're taking the whole Sherp to the duck lease. Gonna tear some stuff up today. Actually just get rid of some old weeds, like I said. But I do need to tell y'all, we are accepting new pro staff applications at Ducks Waterfowl. If you're interested in being on the pro staff, all you got to do is shoot an email to ducksprostaff at gmail.com. Just shoot them an email, say, hey, I'm interested in being on your Ducks pro staff. What do I need to do? They will, uh, they'll reply and then it'll go from there. You'll end up getting a discount code if you're approved. There is no age restriction on our pro staff. Doesn't matter how old you are. So if you're interested, like I said, shoot an email, ducksprostaff at gmail.com. Because then you can get a discount at any time you want on all this new merch that just dropped. I told y'all, August 24th, which has already came and gone, a bunch of new merch was dropping on the Ducks website. Boom, boom. Just two of the items. So. I will also link these down in the description below if you want to pick one up. Enough yapping though, time to get this bad boy on the road. Gotta tell you what, this rig is beautiful. I, I am in love with it, I don't want to give it back. Uh, Nick Costas is actually landing tomorrow and I gotta go pick him up from the airport. There it is. I sure do miss my diesel though. But Nick Costas is uh, actually coming in tomorrow, I gotta pick him up. He's going to take the truck, he's going to leave me the shirt, but he's going to take the truck and uh, he's actually taking it to Canada. So, I don't know how I'm going to pull the pull the shirt once he takes this truck. I don't know if my little half ton will do it. I might have to use my dad's truck. Alright Fred, looks like we're ready to go. Come on. Come on Fred, load up. Place. Oh, what are you doing over there man? No, not, not, that's the wrong, I don't want you there dude. Here, here, here. Come here. Heel, heel. He'll sit, sit, place. Fred, no, what are you doing here? Well, we are here. I had to park out on the dirt road uh, quite a ways away from my lease. Probably gonna have to drive about a half mile because it is super muddy. The roads way over there, closer to the marsh, get extremely muddy, but let's unload this bad boy and get on our little journey, shall we? All right. We're all unstrapped, ready to go! God, I love this thing. You know, there's gonna be one day that I'm just not gonna wanna give it back. Oh, and by the way, I hope that you can hear me. It is currently 66 degrees out and spitting rain. Literally, beautiful weather. Duck hunting season is on the way, boys. Let me tell you. Good to go. Ready, Frederick? Come on, buddy. Let's load up. Come on. Come on. I think that was the problem trying to get him loaded. That was tall. Really tall. The tailgate of that truck, probably the highest thing he's ever jumped up on. This used to be the highest thing he jumped up on. But I can tell you, place. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Just loving it. Fred absolutely loves the shirt. So it's been raining the past couple days and uh, the last video you've seen we drove in here with the truck. There's absolutely no way that the truck would make it in here right now. We have standing water. This is an unplanted field, just got prairie grass in here right now. The farmer doesn't care if I drive in on it, only when it's dry. But the shirt, it doesn't leave a mark at all. The big tires literally just go right over the top of the soft soil. It doesn't leave a rut, indention, nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
But here in just a little bit, once we're done kind of working this pond a little bit, I'm going to give you guys a little information on the shirt, tell you some really specifics about it, some really interesting things that it does. It is insane the amount of technology that is in this unit. These units are ex very, very pricey, but, but, there's a big but there. When you ride in one and you do what we're about to do, you automatically see that it's worth every single penny. I'm telling you. So, here's just a little bit, like I said, I'll tell you some really cool stuff about the shirt, but here we go. We're just gonna dive on in, boys. Man, this is, uh, so last year I came out here and uh, I worked over the weeds with my quad. It took forever. And as you see here, this is a lot of new standing water. All this water wasn't here last year. We've had a lot of rain this year, a lot more than usual. So the, the actual hole is looking extremely ducky. Check this out. Oh my. This is why the till love it, boys, right here. Oh man. Look at that. There's some cattails where that's where we'll be hiding a lot of times. But look at this. Looking beautiful, y'all. Got a lot of good water. The shirt, I don't think it's deep enough to make the shirt float, but these are the weeds that I'm talking about right here. See all this dead weeds that's just taking up room for no reason? That's what I want to get knocked down. So, we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth, and knock down a lot of these old dead weeds. Just like these right here. Last year I did this with Harper. I didn't, I don't think I made a video on it, but I brought Harper along and she was a trooper. It was pretty cold out too. And, and we got out here, there was actually a wind chill. I bundled her up and we got out here on the quad and knocked them all down. But look at this. No ducks here today. Last time we came, we scared up some ducks. See these old weeds here? Get all this knocked down, opened up a little bit. I wish I had this shirt last year. Just giving us some more water to hunt. That's what I want. This this hole is already really small. So I want to open it up as much as I can, you know? <laughs> Old Fred back there, he don't know what to think. He don't know what we're doing. Check it out though, I've been at it for about 15 minutes. Look what all I got opened up over here. And then I got, I got it all opened up into the main body of water. So, now we got all that behind me that used to not be open. So, now we got a lot more open water, y'all. Check it out. There was a lot of standing old weeds out there that I knocked down but it comes all the way around the side here and all the way out the back. What you think, dude? What you think, Fred? You don't know what to think, do you, bud? No. Old Frederick, he's going, Dad, what are we doing? What are we doing, buddy? Huh? Making it nice for the ducks. That's what we're doing. And I wanted to open it up. Uh, one big reason is I want some geese to start using this. Um, it's always been a real small body of water. The ducks like it. You know what I'm saying? I want it big enough so that the geese might like it. I want to shoot some geese over this thing. I mean, I don't lease it for nothing, you know what I mean? Sherpa over there so I could get a juicy old thumbnail for y'all. And it's a little deeper than I expected right there. Got the old shorts wet. 
Check it out though. Got her all cleared up. Opened up, ready to hunt. Woo! Good day. Lovely day, I must say so myself. So, like I promised, while we're out here stomping around in the water and letting Fred play, I know he wants to get wet. Come on, come on buddy, let's go. Come on, let's go. Jump in the water. Come on, jump. Woo! <laughs> he was like, Dad, I don't know how deep it's gonna be. Oh, does that feel good, buddy? Does that feel good? Old Fred, I'm telling you what, he's ready to get out here. Me and Fred are gonna be doing some good old solo duck hunting out here, aren't we, buddy? But I wanna tell you guys a little bit about the shirt, why we have some downtime. So it's got a 50 horse diesel Kubota engine in it, and the exhaust from the engine is actually what inflates the tires. So these machines actually come from Ukraine, where it's vast Arctic country. They gotta travel across big, big remote uh frozen lakes i mean vast vast arctic areas so what's really neat yes the diesel exhaust does fill the tires but every wheel see it says diesel only every single wheel has a spare 50 gallon drum of diesel so it's got a 50 gallon tank plus four 50 gallon drums 250 gallons of diesel is what you can carry on this thing. This folds down. This is your little cockpit entry door. We got a fire extinguisher. We got the keys. We got the e-brake. Then here we have the old captain's chair here. Got your gas pedal, your clutch. It is a five speed with reverse. It's just like a skid steer. You turn right to go right. You pull back on the left one to go left. But you have a lot of light switches and whatnots. Even, whoops, hold on a minute, let's turn it on. Even, she even has a horn. I don't know why it needs a horn, but she's got a horn. Let me tell you what, it's got these LED lights. Boom, boom, boom. Extremely, extremely bright at night. But as you guys seen, we hold uh, eight guys and eight guys worth of gear. Lay down blinds, guns, ammo, dogs, uh, on that North Dakota trip. Uh, we got everybody out on the sheet water, all set up. Two trips in, two trips out. This thing is an absolute unit. Uh, I don't know what could stop it. I honestly do not know if you could ever get it stuck. You know what I'm saying? Well, we were just cruising here, just left the duck lease, got everything loaded up. And uh, a lot of you watch the pigeon videos where I'm going down the highway and I see something I like. Usually it's like a bucket and I stop and grab it, right? Check this out. We are in Teal Central. That's why we're out here at the Duck Lease. Lots of teal. Look at this. Look at that. On the side of the road. Always got a band check. No band. Look at that guy. Been, ew. Ew. He's been sitting there for a little while. Huh. That's wild. Dead on the road. A teal. Didn't expect to see that. But this area out here where my Duck Lease is, it's literally duck heaven. Like, I'm talking ducks here all the time. Ducks breed here in the summer. A lot of ducks stay in this area for summer. And then a lot return when the season rolls around. So, seeing that, man, there must be a lot of ducks in the area. Well, we are here at the next spot. Got the Sherp unloaded. Check it out. After the first ride, I'm telling you what, old Frederick, I can't get him out of this dang thing. But here we are, we are at the next duck hole, way over yonder. We're here with my farmer buddy Andy. Absolute killer duck spot out here. Me and Andy are gonna tear it up opening day. Let's jump in the Sherp and go see how it looks. Go through those two trees there? Yep, right through here, right where that dead limb is. Gotcha. Oh yeah, there's some ducks. you hit the water you just you can't even wipe the smile off your face it's like oh yeah that's what it's supposed to do look at all this over there old frederick you ready to get out here and do some duck hunting huh now we're floating oh yeah got some ducks over yonder so this is andy little duck hole it is one heck of a hot spot you killed a lot of ducks here haven't you oh, yeah you? I there we go, these ducks like to stay back here. This is beautiful. 
all kinds of duck food back here. Well, old Andy got us in a little waterway here. On the entry, I think my butt puckered hard enough to eat my shorts. Woo! We went on a one heck of a... Woo! This is neat though. I bet some ducks stay down in here, don't they? Well, we got the whole unit loaded back up. Uh, we're going to the next spot with uh, Andy again. He was like, hey man, you mind uh, taking it over to the cornfield? It was like with all the rain this last season, all summer, all spring, and now that fall's almost here, we're starting to pick up with the rainfall again. He was like, would you mind going through all the draws in the big cornfield so we can actually see how much water's in it? Because they're gonna be cutting corn, I mean, here in a month or ish, about a month, so. So he's curious to see how much water the field's actually holding. So, that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna unload the shirt again, third time for today. <laughs> And which it's really easy because did you see all the rails that are on the trailer? It's basically a built-in guidance system where you can be by yourself loading it. You don't even need help. Uh, you put the tires on both sides of the bars and it guides you right on that bad boy. So it makes it really nice. But I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, smash the thumbs up button for your boy. Let's get this video over a thousand likes. Police, it does help quite a bit. Um, but I do. I, I, I really do. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I know we're not hunting ducks. I know we're not doing anything really duck related but with the sherp i mean does it have to be duck related i don't really think so it's pretty awesome all in itself right Let's see if we can start out in second gear here oh yeah here we are we are in the cornfield and uh we're down in the low lying areas the canals that run in between the corn here and andy how much rain did you get on this particular field 44.1 inches this season Good. Nine months. Nine. Nine months this season already. 44 inches. That is not like, uh, that is unlike Kansas weather, to, to say it very simple. I've been preaching to y'all. We're going to have sheet water this year. It's the first year that we actually have sheet water in Kansas. 44 inches in the last nine months. We usually don't get 44 inches in a whole, whole year. Yeah, a whole season. Wow. But it's wet. She's holding water for sure. Oh yeah, she's running pretty good. Unbelievable. Wow. How many times as a kid did you get the tractor stuck in this field? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> His dad wanted to kill him probably. Wow, it's really running. Well, back here at the house. Got her all loaded back up, unhooked from the truck. Let me tell you, the Sherp is awesome. I'm so glad Dive Bomb is letting me use it for a little bit, but I need your guys' help. While I have it, I really want to put it to good use. I mean, look at her. Isn't she beautiful? We got to use this bad girl. So, whatever ideas you guys got churning up in your heads, you got to drop them down below. Let your boy know. What do you guys want to see me do with that bad boy? Seriously though, drop your comments, your ideas, down below in the comment section just tell me Bobby go do this with it go do that now we will probably be using it to get in on some dove hunts probably in a couple days dove hunting is firing up and I couldn't be more excited but other than dove hunting what should we do I know duck hunting's coming we're gonna use it but what else what do you guys want to see but guys big Labor Day sale going on right now over at duckswaterfowl.com 15% off of everything in the store them brand new blades camo trucker hats oh yeah they're on sale as well as all of our brand new shirts that we got everything 15% off Saturday through Monday y'all I will link everything down in the description below go pick something up go save yourself some jack but I really appreciate all of the support lately. You guys have been coming out of the cracks, showing your support, telling me what you guys want to see. Duck season is upon us. It's, it's literally almost here, y'all. But you're going to want to subscribe. You're going to want to hit that notification bell down there. It will notify you when your boy uploads because there's a lot of hunting videos to come. I can't wait. But until next time, we will see y'all on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. Your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that